recipient for this year's MVP for men's track and field goes to someone who is consistently breaking records and taking top three places, if not the win, at our meets week after week. So it's a well-deserved honor, and we're excited to see what he has in store for next year. Uh, this year's MVP for men's track and field is Sullivan Keller. Hi, it's Coach Pete here to present the Women's MVP Award. So for this award, I decided to get to the mindset of the MVP, so I climbed up here to 3.2 meters, which was her clearing height at conference championship. Um, this has made me realize two things. One, this is really, really high and terrifying. And two, my gutters are filthy. So the track and field MVP award goes to Taylor Hogg. It's Coach Pete again here to present an award for Damon Track and Field. The award I'm presenting today is Men's Most Improved. This athlete came to us as a cross country runner in the fall. It took a little while to get going, but by the end of the indoor season, he was our best and most consistent distance runner. Um, so this award will go to, drum roll please. Hello. Most improved goes to John Brugman. Yay! You go crazy, Mama. for the women's track and field program. This athlete has seen substantial growth in both events that she participates in and didn't quite get the opportunity to test that in the outdoor circle, but we're excited to see what she can translate into the upcoming year. So I'm happy to say that this year's recipient for most improved player for women's track and field is Betty Jones. All right, Meow, it's time for the Wildcat Awards. These awards go to individuals who are dedicated to a winning mindset, putting in the work every day at practice and at meets. Here to present these awards will be Coach Jason. Jason, take it away. The Indoor Wildcat Award goes to Dan Fogel. And the Wildcat Award for the girl side goes to Natalie.